Stuck by Oliver Jeffers. It all began when Floyd got his kite stuck in a tree. He tried pulling and swinging, but it wouldn't come unstuck. The trouble really began when he threw his favorite shoe to knock the kite loose. And that got stuck too. He threw his other shoe to knock down his favorite shoe, and unbelievably, that got stuck as well. In order to knock down his other shoe, Floyd fetched his cat, Mitch. Cats get stuck in trees all the time, but this was getting ridiculous. So Floyd fetched a ladder. He was going to sort this out once and for all. What do you think he's going to do with the ladder? Well, he threw it up in the tree. And guess what happened? It got stuck! The ladder was borrowed from a neighbor who would definitely want it back. So to get it back, Floyd threw a bucket of paint up at it. And what did you know? The bucket of paint got stuck! Then Floyd tried. A duck to knock down the bucket of paint. A chair to knock down the duck. His friend's bicycle to knock down the chair. The kitchen sink to knock down his friend's bicycle. The front door to knock down the kitchen sink. The family car to knock down the front door. Hello? The milkman to knock down the family car. Did you get up here the same way? An orangutan to knock down the milkman, who surely had somewhere else to be. A small boat to knock down the orangutan. A big boat to knock down the small boat. A rhinoceros to knock down the big boat. A big truck to knock down the rhinoceros. The house across the street to knock down the big truck. Floyd? A lighthouse to knock down the house no longer across the street. And a curious whale in the wrong place at the wrong time to knock down the lighthouse. Hi, hey, yo. Uh, what are you doing? And they all got stuck. A fire engine was passing and heard all the commotion. The firemen stopped to see if they could help at all. Hi, uh, can we help at all? And what do you think happened? Up they went, first the fire engine, followed by the firemen, one by one. And there they stayed, stuck between the orangutan and one of the boats. Firemen would definitely be noticed missing and Floyd knew he'd be in big trouble. Then he had an idea and went to find a saw. And he lined it up as best he could and threw it up in the tree. And that was it. Pop! There was no more room left in the tree and the kite came unstuck. Floyd was delighted and he played with his kite for the rest of the day. That night, Floyd fell asleep exhausted. Though before he fell asleep, he could have sworn there was something he was forgetting. Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. And that's the end of the story.